15. 10. 5. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for attending police headquarters. Today, Detective Sergeant Brian Borg of the Homicide Squad will update you in regards to homicide number 53 of 2013. Detective Sergeant. Good afternoon. I'm here to provide an update for homicide number 53 for 2013, the murder of Nico Mitchell. On Sunday, November 24, 2013 at 8.11 p.m., Nico Mitchell was shot multiple times at the North Kipling Community Center at 2 Roundtree Road in the city of Toronto. Nico Mitchell was pronounced dead at the scene and had no chance of survival. Nico, like many others that night, was at the North Kipling Community Center to watch a basketball tournament. Not very long after he arrived, Nico was sought out by others present at the tournament and was for all intent and purpose ambushed and killed execution style. Our investigation, which has been extensive and just shy of two months by one day, has now resulted in the identification of all of the persons believed responsible for Nico Mitchell's murder. Today, I am announcing that a Canada-wide arrest warrant for the offense of first-degree murder has been issued for the arrest of Rashane Hales Wilson, 23 years of age, of Mississauga. Mr. Wilson's present whereabouts is currently unknown. He may or may not be in the Toronto or Greater Toronto area. I am appealing for anyone who may have information about Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wilson's whereabouts, or who has any information about him personally, to call your local police service or the Toronto Police Service Homicide Squad at 416-808-7000. Mr. Hales Wilson should not be approached as he is considered by law enforcement to be, to be potentially armed and dangerous. You can also provide information confidentially if you prefer by calling your local Crime Stoppers or through the internet at 222.222tips.com. Remember that your identity if you call Crime Stoppers is protected in law. To you, Mr. Rashane Hells Wilson, it is in your best interest to surrender yourself to the police after contacting your lawyer first. Lookouts locally, nationally, and internationally have already been placed and you will not be able to flee very far. Regardless, however, of where you flee, you will be actively pursued and you will be returned to face criminal justice. This homicide investigation is far from being complete and efforts are continuing to bring everyone to justice who is responsible for this murder. I am again appealing to anyone who has yet to come forward or who has any information about the murder of Nico Mitchell or anything that they believe is important to this investigation to contact the Toronto Police Homicide Squad. Again, if you are reluctant to call directly, you can still provide that information confidentially through Crime Stoppers. Finally, because this investigation is ongoing and as well will reach the criminal justice system once Mr. Hales Wilson is arrested, I will not take any specific questions regarding the event or the ongoing investigation. So you can tell us how you focus it down on, the, on this guy? Well, I can tell you, as uh, uh, was indicated in the, the previous news conference, uh, you'll, you'll be aware from the last time that I spoke about this, we, uh, we were able to, through uh, video surveillance at the community centre, able to identify a number of individuals through our own ways of investigation. We had also released some information in order to obtain the identities of those other people. And it's uh, through the course of uh, that investigative work that we were able to identify Mr. Wilson um, and a number of other individuals. So I believe at this point we know everybody who's involved in Nico's murder. I'm not going to be specific about how many. because the investigation isn't complete yet 
and I don't want to do anything that will compromise our ability to uh, investigate this thoroughly and again bring everybody that's responsible for this murder to justice. Are we identified two other people in this surveillance video? I believe we have. Okay, thank you very much. If there's no further questions, this information will be on our website as well as our Thank you. Thank you.